Hi everyone, welcome to Campus Academy. Today we can see what is Peterson Olfination. So Peterson Olfination is the formation of alkenes. The product is alkene. And the precursor is beta hydroxy alkene triethyl silane. So what is this? This is the beta hydroxy trialkyl silane. Beta hydroxy in beta position a OH group and trialkyl silane. So what is Peterson reaction? It is the formation of alkene, a reaction in which alkene is formed through, through a mechanism uh, in which acid or base is added and the stereochemistry of alkene depends upon this acid or base. So this is the general mechanism of Peterson olfaction. First we are taking a ketone. First ketone is converted to this beta hydroxy alkyl silane. So a ketone is taken and we are adding the trialkyl silane which is bonded with a metal added to ketone. So what will happen? This is carb anion. So carb anion can attack carbonyl carbon. So this will form a bond that is shown here. R1, R2 and O- become OH. R1, R2, OH. R1, R2, OH. And this compound, R3, a hydrogen and alkene silane. So this is the uh, precursor of Peterson olfination. So to this precursor, we are adding acid or base. So the product become, uh, depends upon the acid or base. Now the another important point is when we are adding acid, the elimination of OH and SiR3 should be in anti position. OH and SiR3 should be in anti position. And when we are adding base, it should be sin elimination. So this is the through elimination we are getting double bond that we know. So OH and SiR3 should be in anti position while we are adding acid. And same position why we are adding base. This is the important role for Peterson olfaction. So the stereochemistry depends upon of alkene depends upon acid and base. So Peterson olfaction is the formation of alkenes from a ketone to beta hydroxy silane compound and then a alkene is formed. That's Peterson olfaction. Now we can see the detailed mechanism of Peterson olfaction. Now let's move on to the mechanism. So first we are discussing the basic condition mechanism. So in basic condition what is the important point to remember? The, if we are adding a base, the elimination will be through sin, uh, sin elimination. And if we are adding acid, it will be anti-elimination. So by taking basic condition, first a ketone is taken and this silane which is attached to a metal. The metal can be lithium or anything. So now the carb anion will attack this carbonyl carbon. So carb anion can attack this carbonyl carbon and this oxygen bonds electron shifted to oxygen and oxygen will get a negative charge. So carb anion is attached to this carbonyl carbon SaR3 hydrogen and R3. Now what happens? This O minus electron is shifted to silicon and this will make a bond that is shown here oxygen and silicon is making a bond. Now sin elimination happens why we are adding base. So how the elimination occurs this bond is broken and this electron is shifted to here and it will form an alkene. So this is the product. So now in acidic condition the important point is anti-elimination. So we are taking uh, the precursor. This is the precursor beta hydroxy trialkyl silane. So we are taking the precursor and uh, when we are looking to the precursor what we can see the OH and silane group are on same position. So we want anti elimination So we just rotate this carbon. How we rotate this? When we rotate this carbon what happens? This silicon will come to this position and this R will come to above position. So what will happen? The silicon came to this, this position, SAR3, that is above plane, and this R is coming to this position, R3. So now OH and SAR3, silicon is on opposite position, anti position. So we can do the elimination easily. So now what will happen? A H plus is added, that is acid, and H plus and OH will 
will become OH2 plus and it will eliminate as water. It will eliminate as water. And again another H2O comes to silicon and this will shift it to here. And this will eliminate and this will also eliminate. So now what happens? A alkene is formed. So this can be a cis or trans alkene. It depends upon the precursor, the compound. So this is the mechanism for Peterson orphanation. Okay, now let's do some examples. So in first example, it is the reagent given as KHNDS and in second option, it is given acid. So this KH can be written as K plus and H minus. So this is a base. So when we are adding a base, we know the point to remember is the elimination should be same elimination. So SINV2PH and OH group should be in same, same position. So here SI silicon is in below plane. So one of the OH is in below plane. So this can be eliminated. And the product should be, product is, when this group eliminate, here comes double bond and uh, rest of the compound is not affected. OH, OH and OBN, it is a protecting group, uh, OBN and okay, here comes double bond. And when we are adding acid, the elimination is anti-elimination. So, SINV2PH and the OH which is, which is anti to silicon is eliminated. So, here comes the double bond. So, what is the product? The double bond comes here. And here OH, OBN, OBN and here also a OH, below plane OH. So, when we are adding a base, the elimination is same elimination and when we are adding an acid, the elimination is anti-elimination. So, in second example, it is given KH, K plus H minus, it is a base. So, the base, uh, when we are adding base, the elimination is same elimination. So, silicon and OH should be in same position. It is already in same position. If, we, if, it, is, if it is not in same position, we have to rotate it. So, this is in same position, so the double bond will come here. So the product is C5H11. Here comes the double bond Me and C4H9. So this is the product. Now, in third example, uh, it is given an uh, acid and a TBAF. So TBAF is a uh, group which contain fluorine compound fluorine and now we can solve this problem it is given acid so anti-elimination so SiMe3 and the OH should OH group should be in anti anti position so already it is in anti position so the double bond will come here so the product is here comes the double bond and O T B D M S. This is dimethylsilide group and it is the protecting group for OH. OH. This is o, OH. So, whenever a silane protecting group is present, if we want to remove that silane protecting group, we need a fluorine compound. So, it is given fluorine compound. So, we can uh, remove TBAF is added. So, we can remove this protecting group. So, what will be the product? Here comes a double bond and here OH. Now, it is given Sharpless asymmetric epoxidation. Sharpless asymmetric epoxidation which uh, with plus DET. So, we already discussed about Sharpless asymmetric epoxidation. In that video, I discussed the tricks of uh, writing the product. So, plus DET is added. So, what will be the product? RWLD. Right wedge, left dash. So, here OH is in this position. So, we rotate this to vertical position. So, right OH will become left OH. So, for left it is dash. For plus DET. So, the product is OH. Here dash epoxy is formed. Below plane epoxy is formed. 
So the, these were the examples for Peterson alkenation. And what is Peterson alkenation? It is the formation of alkenes. So the stereochemistry of the alkene depends upon whether we are adding acid or base. If we are adding base, the elimination is anti-elimination, and if it is base, the elimination is syn-elimination. So these were the points, important points of Peterson alkenation.